it's Natasha. In today's video, I am going to review Milton Hershey. This is a book from the Heroes of History series from YWAM Publishing. If you've never heard of this amazing series, there's like 29 books, I believe, in this series, and it's all biographies of heroes of history. Now, I had the opportunity to review this as part of the Homeschool Review Crew, and I also got the digital unit study to go along with the book. So I'm going to talk about the book, and then I'm going to actually turn the camera around and show you inside the digital unit study as well. Now, I got to choose which hero of history I wanted to read about, and I chose Milton Hershey. I thought my kids and I would really have fun with this. I did use this as a read aloud, and because who doesn't love Hershey chocolate? And so I thought that it would be really fun to learn about the person who created Hershey chocolate. And I also chose this one because I knew it had to do with the Mennonite and Pennsylvania and I love the Mennonite and the Amish and so I knew that I would probably love this book. Also, Hershey Kisses are kind of an integral part of mine and my husband's love story. So I just had to choose this one, basically. If you want to hear that story, leave me a comment down below. But anyway, so this book takes you through Milton Hershey's life from the time he was a little tiny boy until um, his death. And it tells you everything in between. I don't want to give away too much of the story, but I will give you a a little background. Um, basically, uh, Milton Hershey comes from a Mennonite family. His parents had a, a strange marriage. They weren't always together. His father was very kind of flighty and had big dreams, but little fruit from those big dreams. And um, Milton Hershey wasn't very good in school, but he had this great brain and he started working for a confectioner and then through that experience fell in love with baking and first it was caramel but then it turned into chocolate. He also experimented with other things like gum and cough syrup which like who knew? Um, the military even hired the Hershey company to make like bars for the military during the world wars that could like withstand certain like heat and cold and could be submerged for an hour in the water and I mean all kinds of crazy stuff. So because um, of when he lived, he lived from 1857 to 1945, it also takes you through a whole ton of history too, because he lived through the world wars. He lived, you know, um, when automobiles were invented, he even lived through planes being invented. I mean, so everything that he went through, like that was a, a very, very interesting time period that he actually lived in. Um, him and his wife didn't have any kids, but they started a school, which is still in existence today. And um, his legacy that he left behind, both like his personal legacy, but also his like money legacy, um, have made this school free for all these years. And so it's just an amazing story. He's an amazing man. It kept our interest. I, this was one of those books I did not want to put, put down. My kids would crack up and say like, man, why do they always leave you on a cliffhanger? <laughs> and so, you know, every chapter kind of leaves you on a little cliffhanger, wondering what's going to happen next so you can continue reading. But I cannot give this book enough praises. I loved the style it was written in. Um, it, it was very easy to read. It flowed really well. I love, when I was a kid, I loved learning history through people. That's how I connect personally to history is through people. So, and I think it just makes more sense to teach history through people. And so I just absolutely loved this book and my kids loved this book. 
So now let me turn you around and show you what the digital unit study looks like because that is a superb component that you can add in. Now we didn't actually use much of that because I used this as a bedtime read aloud, but I what I did was before I started reading, I actually went through the unit study myself to get some ideas for um, an end of the book party. We actually just finished this book last night, just in time to do this review. So I haven't done our end of the book party yet, but I'm so excited to do that because you can imagine what the theme is. But seriously, I'm so, so, so excited about that. We're gonna have like a special and chocolate party. So to celebrate Milton Hershey and the, and the kids are going to do um, a little reports about Milton Hershey and so it's gonna be really cool. So if you want me to do another video on that, let me know, but I'm pretty excited about that. So that will be coming up too, but we just finished this book. We just read one chapter a night. Sometimes we read two, but typically it was just one chapter at night and um, that was just enough material for my girls who are five, nine, and 11. So um, yeah, I highly, highly recommend it. And to give you an idea of the font size, I'll show you in the book. Um, it doesn't really have pictures, um, just the little Hershey Kisses at the top. And if you're wondering, it does tell you how the Hershey Kisses name came to be. That was one of the things that my girls really wanted to know before we started the book, and it does tell you that in here. So and lots of other stuff too. So let me turn this around, show you the digital uh, unit study. And um, if you have any questions, let me know. Make sure to check the links down below for the Homeschool Review Crew blog post where lots of other people have reviewed um, other books in the series. And make sure you go check out the YOM Publishing for the Heroes of History that I'll leave down below as well. So thanks so much for watching. And now let's see that digital unit. When study. you get this, it is a download and it says start here and you click here and we can see that we can read more about Milton Hershey. If you want to know more about him, we can also click the unit study, which has guides for small groups, classroom and homeschool. So I'm going to click the homeschool and here is the homeschool over overview for unit study curriculum guides and it talks about how to use it, uh, adapting it for the parents' role, teaching social studies with the unit study curriculum guides, teaching language arts with the guides, gives you an introduction, um, and it tells you how you can use it as your core curriculum for U.S. history, how it can complement another curriculum, and how the Heroes of History program can enhance other subject areas such as social studies, language arts, and character development. Uh, subject integration and special interest and independent study and you can use them as history biographies or family read alouds and then it gives you this table which i think is super valuable for each of the heroes of history and the time period so you can if you wanted to go chronologically you could do that um, it also tells you the character uh, qualities and the social studies topic so if you want to go by character quality or social studies topic you can uh, do that too but it breaks it down for everybody and see all that and then it has a one year track and a two year track okay so it gives you lots of great information so i just wanted to show you that social studies themes all of this okay now let me show you the actual uh, unit study for milton hershey hershey it's uh broken down into part one and part two There he is. Okay, 
talks more about the kind of the same stuff, and then it has key quotes. It's kind of fun if you want to print them out. It talks about having display corner. Um, it talks about, you know, Henry Ford, William Wrigley, pictures of the town of Hersey, the flags of Pennsylvania, all kinds of things you could do there. It gives you chapter questions. So you can discuss those with your kids. Student explorations. Creative writing, hands-on projects. Now this one I really want to do <laughs> so badly, but can't do it quite yet. But I want to do this so bad. Plan a week-long visit to Hershey, Pennsylvania and the Chocolate World attraction. I totally, totally am going to do that. I, I not right this minute, but I have always wanted to go to Pennsylvania. And so this just confirmed it. I am set on going and then, um, make your own chocolate. So that's going to be part of our, um, party that we're going to be doing and making our own caramels. So it's going to be super fun when we do that. And then, um, audio visual project ideas and arts and crafts. So in the party that we'll be doing, we're going to incorporate um, some of these activities in our Hershey party. So, um, so you can use it, you know, this guy throughout the entire book, or you can do what, you know, we're doing and do like a culminating party. Um, I can see us also in the future using these, you know, more in depth too. Um, I, I mean, you can just do so much. I, I love this book so much. And I love the way these are, um, these guides are, are written out too. So give some vocabulary. Related themes to explore. I mean, isn't this just awesome? Okay. So that's part one. You get an idea. And now Part two has this Milton Hershey fact sheet and the maps and the timeline. So these are the printables that you would want to like print for each one of your uh, students that was participating. So I hope that was helpful to you. As you can see, it is amazing. I love it so much. And um, if you have any questions, let me know. And thanks so much for watching.